All right, hey, Kevin, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Curtis. You seem to, uh, last year, you, you, you kind of gambled on yourself. You, you, you bet on yourself that, you know, you, this, you could get to this point and, and sign a longer term extension with the Sharks. Is that, you kind of look back and, and say it was kind of, it was worth it, you know, just kind of uh, doing it that, at that time? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I think it was, it was a tough year for us as a team. Uh, it obviously didn't pan out the way we all wanted it to, uh, you know, uh, and especially for me, like gambling on myself. But I think that, you know, we kind of have to forget about last season and then make sure that we kind of focus on the upcoming year and make sure that we're going to be all coming into training camp ready. And I'm uh, really excited to be in Teal for four more years. So I know all the guys and I know this town. So uh, I'm excited to be back in San Jose. Kevin? Yeah, Kevin, how do you look back at, at your year as a whole last season? I know the team struggled, but, um, you know, how do you look at, at your just your season overall in general? Uh, you know, it, it wasn't my best year, but I know I'm a top six forward in this league. Uh, I know I can produce. I know I can be reliable defensively. I know it didn't show last season, but, you know, this upcoming, this off season, you know, we, I've been putting in the time, effort, and, you know, I feel more than ready to be putting in the minutes and uh, to be scoring goals and being uh, good in my own end. So, and, you know, we've got a great team too. You know, I've been uh, skating uh, the past couple of weeks with uh, Cooch and Tommy, and uh, it's been uh, great. You know, we've been just kind of playing games uh, on the ice, uh, scoring goals, and you know, shooting on goalies, and you know, it's just kind of starting that chemistry. So, uh, and more guys are going to start coming. So, I'm excited for next year, and uh, I'm excited to see what this team can do. Shank. Hey, Kevin, congratulations. Is it uh, safe to say or fair to say with this contract that it is uh, maybe a, more of a reward for, you know, what you did in 2018-19 in terms of negotiations as opposed to, you know, this year where everybody sort of struggled, you know, not just yourself? Uh, no, I think, uh, you know, I just gambled on myself and uh, I, you know, uh, it wasn't the best year to, as a team and as a whole. So, you know, it was uh, tough, tough uh, coming to the rink every day. But, you know, I think that, you know, this upcoming year, it'll be a different year and it'll be, uh, I think everybody's going to be on the same page and everyone's going to be hungry once when we come to the rink and come to training camp. So, uh, no, I don't think, no, it has nothing to do with 18-19. I know I'm a top six forward and I know that I can produce and be a good player and help this team out and help this team uh, reach new heights uh, this upcoming year. Curtis. Yeah, well, it's probably fair to say that your importance to the team has probably never been greater, you know, going to next season. Um, you know, in what ways um, would you like to, you know, uh, improve, you know, from, from last year? Uh, to, to this year and, and what has Bob Bugner told you about maybe your role going forward? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, last year we, I think the biggest thing is that just that we got off to a bad start last season and, you know, as soon as training camp comes around, whenever it starts, you know, we got to be, you know, fighting and, you know, be competitive and then have that hunger to, you know, be on the ice and, um, and that's the way we got to start out next season. You don't know how many games we're going to have. So every game could count, you know, so, uh, as far as it goes, uh, uh, with Boogie, I, you know, I talked with Boogie and I think that, you know, he, he sees me as a top six guy, you know, I see myself as a top six guy and, you know, I got to make sure that I fulfill that role make sure that I'm putting the puck in the back of that, but also I'm not given up uh, any chances my own way. I got to be reliable, reliable uh, defensively. So, and that's the way this uh, team's gonna, you know, progress moving forward. We're all, we all have to have that mentality where we're gonna be good defensively. And, uh, and uh, also another, you know, 
another big thing for me is uh, being good on the power play and uh, just making those good plays. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the big thing uh, for myself and as a team is just being good defensively and uh, not giving up anything going your own end. Kevin. Yeah, uh, Kevin, you know, Bob and Doug and some other guys have said, you know, just pointed to the team wasn't wasn't as cohesive as it needed to be, you know, on and off the ice when last season started. You know, you're going to be here now for a little while. Um, what has to happen uh, in that regard going into next season and, and what can you do to be a part of the solution? That's a good question. Um, I think, you know, just coming to the rink every day and putting in the work, I mean, over the past uh, four years that I've been here, you know, I got to play with Jumbo and Patty and, you know, Cooch and Tommy and all these uh, unbelievable players and future Hall of Famers. And the one thing that I learned from their success and, you know, that translated to the team's success is the work ethic that they put in every single day at, at the rink. So, you know, when you come to the rink, it's, uh, no bullshitting around you just gotta put in the work you know and uh no days off you know that's uh that's the staple for jumbo and you know it kind of and you know you see one guy doing it and then it translates to two guys and then next thing you know it'll be 10 and then it's the whole team and uh that that should be the that has to be the culture of uh of the team within the locker room and i think if everyone's uh you know coming to the rink you know punch in, uh, punch in the ticket for their job. And I think we can be a great team and everyone's, uh, we're going to do, have a good season next year. Shane. Uh, Kevin, uh, now you've signed this uh, for your deal, you know, you'll be expected to take on more of a leadership role on the team too. And so, you know, how does that feel? Do you feel excited to embrace that role? And uh, also um, connected to that, uh, one of the things that everybody has said about the last two seasons is that you guys got off to poor starts and that can't happen uh, next season. And so what's the key to make sure that you guys get off to good starts? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be excited uh, for the next four years. Uh, uh, it'll, it comes with some pressure, but I, I look at uh, pressure as a privilege. So, you know, you work your whole life to get to this point in your career and you know you, the best way to handle pressure is by attacking it and that's what I plan on doing this season and uh, you know that's uh, what the team I think as a whole we're gonna attack this season uh, and uh, I'm excited for it. Curtis. Hey, Kevin, did you say a little bit earlier you were skating with uh, Logan and, and Tomas here in, in San Jose, or, or where are you guys right now? Yeah, yeah so I'm in uh, – yeah, I've been in San Jose for the last little bit and uh, been training, working out with them, and it's been great, you know. Uh, you know, just get that chemistry going a little bit uh, before the season starts and, you know, uh, hang out with each other and have some good uh, skates, workouts, some laughs, you know, and uh, just, you know, feel at home. It could be January before you guys play again. Um, would it be nice to sort of get a bigger group together, uh, maybe some organized drills or practices, you know, in the meantime, like before maybe main camp starts? I'm not sure how much you're going to be allowed to do, but how, how nice would that be just to get some extra time with everybody together on the ice? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been, you know, this is the longest that I've gone without seeing, you know, players from the team before uh and uh yeah i think you know guys that'll start coming out and you know get the drills and you know play some you know scrimmages or whatnot and just kind of you know get that chemistry and bond going with each other i think that's a gonna be great you know as a team uh for all of us to you know get that uh culture and uh that chemistry back because we've been gone for so long. So, but I, I, I'm not going to be surprised if uh, guys are already, um, guys are going to come out. I mean, I'm already getting texts from a couple of guys that they want to come out. So I'm sure more and more players are going to start coming out uh, by the end of this month. All right, maybe we'll take one more for Kevin. I'll uh, finish up with Shang, and then I believe uh, Doug Wilson will be joining here. Shang? Uh, Kevin, first big contract. What's your first big purchase with it? 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, for me, probably uh, probably get a house. Um, pretty vanilla, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, pr probably get a house for me somewhere in San Jose. I mean, it, <laughs> having a house out here, you can't complain. Great weather all year round, so <laughs> that's probably <laughs> what the purchase will be.